Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the correct way to get perfect skin tone on your images. And with no further ado, let's get started. So, the first step you are going to take, because we are going to start this from the very beginning, so that I walk through all the process from this very start to the very end. So, the first thing we are going to do now like for this image, we are going to smooth our image. Uh, we smooth the image while retaining the skin texture. And the easiest way to do that is to use the auto fix. So we are going to delete all these layers right here like this. So that will start from the very beginning. So if you just click on this action, the auto fix FS, like this, voila, this is the result you get. Let's zoom in so that you can see the before and the after. This is before applying the auto fix, and this is after applying the auto fix. Uh, here is the before. Here is the after. You can see in the before the skin texture is rough and uh, unkept, but in the after you can see that the skin is being smooth while the texture is still retained. So the before and after with just one click, this action works amazingly. Uh, the next thing we are going to do, we are going to pop our image uh, using the auto pop. Uh, so if you click on the auto pop action like this, you have the normal auto pop. Um, this is how the auto pop works. This is how the auto pop works. If you click on it, this is the result you get. So you see, this is the before and this is the after. But if you just want the auto pop to just pop the uh, contrast, just to add dodging and boning, use the auto pop Lumi. So if you click on the action like this, this is the result you get. Voila, it pops your image, just adding the dodge and burn automatically to your image. So you see before the image is looking flat and this is after the image is now looking more three-dimensional with more emphasis in the brighter area being brighter and the dark area being made to be darker. So once we are done with this, we are going to go into the skin tone color grading. Now, the first step we are going to take in color grading the skin tone, we are going to come to filter, I'm going to come to camera raw filter. Right here in the camera raw filter, I'm going to come to this section right here and we are going to click on it and in uh, down here we are going to wait for the people finding people in the photo to load this um, photoshop using artificial intelligence in the camera row to make a uh, correct and accurate selection so i'm going to click on the person one and it's going to bring up this uh, facial skin i'm going to select the facial skin and the body skin and i'm going to create once we've created this adjustment, every changes we make is going to only affect the skin, the skin of the model, which is the skin on the face and the skin on the body. So we can adjust the exposure. Uh, now we are going to adjust the contrast. I'm going to come down here to adjust the temperature. I'm going to take the, down the temperature a little bit and also the tint. What you are doing right now is color grading the skin tone so that we can get uh, a more beautiful and pleasing color grading on our skin. Another amazing thing we can do in this section is the texture. We can add more texture to our image. Uh, if we zoom in right now, let's zoom in. You see before adding the texture, you see after, the texture is going to add this sharpening to your image. And not just that, we also have the sharpening section right here. If you scroll down, you see the detail, we can add more sharpening to the image. So with this, we are adding this to just the skin without affecting the hair and every other area it's not even affecting the eye or the lips it's just the skin area of the image so this is a powerful way of making adjustment to your skin once you're done with that you're going to add a little bit of white a little bit of contrast to the overall image i'm going to come down here we're going to add saturation to the blue just to pop the undertone that is the underlining tone is just going to pop the overall image and give it this mature grading. So we are going to come down here to the hue of the color mixer and we can make adjustment to the reds and to the orange and to the yellow, which are the skin tone colors. The skin tone color is, um, con the skin tone contains the reds, the oranges and the yellow hues. So we can also adjust the uh, saturation. We are going to desaturate the yellow a little bit to remove any yellow cast on the image and we are going to boost the yellow. Sorry, we are going to boost the oranges while we reduce, that is, desaturate the yellows. So you can see the before 
you can see the after. So once we're done with this, we are going back into Photoshop. So right here in Photoshop, you are going to make final adjustment to this image. And to do that, the first thing we are going to do, we are going to create a solid color adjustment. Create a solid color adjustment, turn off the solid color adjustment, come to the layer marks of the solid color adjustment, come to image, apply image, click on OK. Now this apply image is going to create a max. This max is going to affect only the highlighted area of the our skin tone of the overall image. So this high affects your image, it's going to add color to your image. We are going to change the blend mode to soft light. And now we are going to change, reduce the opacity all the way to 30. See the before and the after. I'm going to turn this off, double click, bring up the slider. Now we are going to pick a color from the highlight area. What we are doing right now, we want to make all the colors of the highlights uniform. So once you're done with that, click on OK. Turn this on, see the before and the after. You can do the same thing to the uh, shadow areas. So we are going to duplicate this adjustment. And now we are going to come to this layer max and press Ctrl I to invert the layer max. You can use Ctrl I on your PC, Command I on your Mac. So we are going to double click this and we are going to select from the mid tone area to the shadow area. Once we click on OK, we turn this on. I'm going to get a uniform color on the overall image. This is a very amazing way to correct your skin tone to remove any color cast or color inconsistency in your skin. You might not see a drastic change on this image, but for your own image that has uh, different patches of color on the image, maybe due to the bad makeup or bad lighting or any stuff like that, this particular adjustment we just made is going to drastically improve the image and unify the skin tone. It's super amazing. I'm going to add a layer marks, Ctrl I to invert the layer marks. I'm going to take our brush and paint only on the area we want this effect, which is on the skin, just like this. So it's going to even the skin tone and match the skin tone of the face with that of the body. So this is the before and the after. Now, finally, we are going to create a selective color adjustment. In the selective color adjustment, we are making changes to the reds color, like this. We are making changes to the reds, like this, to tone our red and also our yellow to tone our yellow. So this is the before and this is the after. Let's take a general look at the overall before and the after. Here was the before. See how rough and dull our image is looking and here's the after. Let's see how amazing it is. And if you've noticed, we've just gone through simple step, simple basic step to transform the image from looking like this to looking like this. This is amazing. This is super amazing. And to remove any color noise in your image, we are easily going to do that. Press Shift, Control, Alternate E, and I'll come to Filter, come to Camera Row. In the Camera Row, I'm going to scroll down here to the uh, Detail section. I'm going to remove any color noise in our image. See, it's going to make the image a little bit more smooth and flattering than before. And the after, and you can also remove any noise slightly. Don't overdo it, it's going to make your image plastic just a little bit like this, maybe five or so, just like this. Now, image is looking smooth and glamour, and this is a very amazing way to retouch your image. And this is the final result we've gotten. You see, the skin tone is looking perfect, there's color consistency, there's even skin tone, and the skin tone is looking amazing and super perfect. Here was the before and here is the after. Like this video if you haven't already. Don't forget how we smooth our image. We used the autofix FX. The autofix FX action what was what we used to smooth our image. So the link to get the autofix FX action is in the description. Get it right now to smooth your skin and use the other technique to make your skin tone look beautiful and amazing. With this technique, you can reduce your retouching time from over an hour to 30 minutes. You can reduce that from between 30 minutes to one hour to just mere minutes, like one to two minutes, a couple of minutes you are done with your retouching. And you smooth your image with just one click of the autofix. And you can see how I demonstrated that in this tutorial. Get the autofix with the link in the description. And also you get the auto pop with the link in the description. You see how the auto pop works with just one click. 
transform your image from looking this flat to looking this amazing you can apply them as many times as necessary and that's it for this tutorial like share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already subscribe to this channel for more amazing tip tricks and new cutting edge photoshop photo editing tutorials and photography if there's something i'm expecting for this channel there's a tutorial you yearning for let me know in the comment section if there's a particular problem you have in your retouching let me know in the comment section so, so that we can tackle it asap i'm happy to be part of your creative journey see you in another amazing tutorial